boys and girls. I'm here for the people this evening. Talk to me. I know this was unexpected. We just jumping on the live, talk some boxing. You feel me? I'm just here to see what's going on. A lot of shit going on in the game. You know what I mean? We need to talk about what's happening. What's popping? What's going on? I'm here for the people this evening. We just talk about whatever y'all, whatever y'all on, I'm on. What's going on, Tyler? What's up? How you say that, right here? What's going on? What's the vibes? Send the questions through, man. Free soul, what's going on? What's popping? Tyler Jones, talk to me. I'm here for the people this evening. Y'all ask the questions, I'm going to answer the best I can. Watch as a throwback. Oh, yeah, you already know. That's why I fuck with Casio. You'll hear that name in the box and mix soon. I like that. I like that. That's the good, That's the mindset to have. <laughs> That's the mindset to have, champion. You know what I mean? It's going to be great. Be great. O'Hara versus Rowley. Who is O'Hara? Who that? Rowley played too much, man. Rowley scared me that last fight. Seeing how Ryan been looking with, with Derrick James. Yeah, I saw I saw some clips, him working on some uh, basics. Him him um, working on his distance. You know what I mean? He looked pretty good. He was Gula in your way fight. Yeah, me and my cousin, we, we gonna set something up for that. For that anyway, John. What's going on? Y'all already know. Jeremy Town. I think he should definitely take a tune-up, you know what I mean? Not so much of a tune-up, but a guy, you know what I mean? Not one of the top guys. I think he should just get somebody to shoot at. You know what I mean, put put some money in somebody's pocket. That'd be great. I'm still muted. Damn. We good now? All right. Yeah, I think I think Tank should uh, definitely get a tune-up, get somebody to shoot at. Somebody that, you know what I mean, he can help out, put some money in their pocket, like I said. Somebody that'll give him a good fight, though. But, you know what I mean, leave, but leave, uh, leave Shakur and him alone right now. I don't think he should fuck with them. You know what I mean? Not just yet. What's popping? What's going on? Boo Silas some critics last weekend. That was a beautiful watch. Yeah, for sure. That was, that was, that was a great performance, you know what I mean? I would like to call it. Shoot me the one. Jay, what one? What one you want? The left or the right? You gotta watch how you talk to me. <laughs> you feel me? We here, man. What's going on? I'm just mobbing with the people right now. You already know. <laughs> You in the gym Friday, I'm in there. Tank Tank should get straight to Haney. He would smoke him. He would be weight drained and technically boxes take a longer break. And this is doing fast. I mean, you got a point, but he ain't seeing no boxing sitting in jail. I mean, he probably get a little chance to go ahead and shake out a little bit, but I don't know. And then Haney ain't see Haney might go to 40. I I got a feeling Haney gonna go to 40. I think Boots going to find a good level of comp in the future. I think Boots will. I think he going to get his, his just due at 54. Coming to get my hoagie. <laughs> yeah, somebody definitely owe you a, a, a hoagie, OJ. For sure. At 147. At 147, I ain't going to lie. I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. I think he going to get his just due at 54. I ain't going to lie to you. I think I think, I think Boots just due is going to be at 54. He going to get... Better fights, tougher fights. You know what I mean, bigger guys. You know what I mean? I think that's when he'll really get his just due. 
but I can't. I, I ain't gonna lie. I can't wait to see uh, Boots at Fifty Four. Nigga, don't skip my comment. What comment? Which one was that? I already said what it was. You said you wanted to shoot the one or something. I said which one you want, the left or the right? Thoughts on that Abdullah Mason? I think Abdullah Mason is a, is a is a great fighter for his level. I think he's doing exactly what he's supposed to do to these uh, opponents that they are getting him. I think they moving him well, and I think he has a bright future for sure. Really skilled, really mature fighter. Am I the only one who noticed that top rank fighters always do the cloud chasing? Top rank, ah. Top rank is it's not a lot of action over there. It's action, but it ain't a, it ain't a lot of action. What up, G? Checking in. Flint, Michigan, what's popping? You are the illest in the game. Keep doing what you do. I appreciate that, bro. The legend. <clears throat> you have a good mind. Appreciate that. Cool boy gonna show and prove in Japan to Philly though. I believe so too, bro. I really think Cool Boy gonna go over there and do what he gotta do. Andy Cruz versus Shakur would be a hell of a chess match. Yeah, I can see that. Andy Cruz not as big as I thought. I thought he was bigger than that when I first seen him. Like I thought he was bigger. Boo's gonna be second. We second in the shoot at one forty seven to move up. I, I think so. Cool boy anyway breakdown was elite. We need that for every big fight. I got you. Gee, I'm a heavyweight from Newark and I can't fight. You too little. What you mean I'm too little? I'm a heavyweight, nigga. I'm really a giant. I'm really like six four, six five. Who do you think Devin is going to face next? I think Devin's going to fight Regis Prograde for some reason. I think that fight going to happen. Hitchens versus Love this weekend, Jake. No, they not fighting. Love pulled out. He got hurt. Do you think a lot of boxers have the same issues as AB? I think his exposure is the only reason people know about it. I think fighters do. There's a lot of fighters with issues, you know what I mean, for sure, because just like regular people, yeah, I mean, fighters are regular people too, but, you know what I mean, except they fight. So, I think guys do suffer with a lot of shit. OG be sleeping on anyway. No, I like anyway, but I just think too small. John Doe, you said I'm too little. Ah, we'll figure it out. Of course, love is hurt. Do you think they make that boost standing on this fight? Yeah, I think that fight is going to happen. I would like to see that, Greg. I saw earlier his reports of Schofield versus Jojo Diaz. You like it. Or it's too early. I think Schofield, if Schofield really want to make a name for himself, he do need a win like that. So I ain't going to be mad at that fight. I can't be mad. Can I say it's too early? Not really. They've been hyping the kid up. All right, we got a spar when I come to Philly 3. Five minute round, so I'm going to get with you. No, that's too much time, bro. That's too much time to be punching on you. Three five minute rounds, that's a, that's a long time, bro. It's going to get dark for you. Devin versus Matias. At 140, who you got? Devin and Matias would be a great fight as well. Matias, I mean, we already know you can't sit there and brawl with him. He'll hurt you. At the same time, Devin is a master boxer, so that would be interesting to see for sure. Gee, can you beat Paulie? Bare knuckle, yeah. Paulie, I don't think Paulie will fight me, bare knuckle. I'll go to jail fucking with Paulie. So Tiafimo back in the mix after his retirement. I don't think Tiafimo going to retire. Who the fuck is standing on? Standing on this can rumble, bro. Yo, Greg, how much of an advantage does Southpaw fighters really have? Do you think fighters like Tank or Lomo will be successful if they fought Orthodox? That's an interesting question. I really can't speak on it because I don't think, me, myself, I don't think Orthodox is a major advantage. I just think, you know what I mean? When you, when you, when you, when you fight a, a Southpaw, I think the best thing to do is surround yourself with Southpaws. You know what I mean? It's really not a big difference. It's just coming from the opposite side. So if you could, you know what I mean, understand that and understand the movement that you need to make, I think it wouldn't be that big of a problem. Damn, did he? I ain't hear about love pulling out. Yeah, he did. What's going on? Dark man kind was popping. Russell versus Haney would be a good one. Yeah, that would be a great fight. 50% kill percent respectable. I think, I think any man with any record is respectable. I think because... All it takes is to make the wrong move. You can get hurt in there. You can get hurt in there. Break down Schofield versus Diaz real quick. Schofield, so D, so D, Jojo Diaz has the experience. He's been in there with bigger fighters, of course. He's been in, in some great fights. Um, Jojo Diaz is, of course, a southpaw fighter, but not a slick fighter. So I think with that, Schofield will be able to get to him, but then... The thing is, is he ready for it to be fired back on? Like, is he ready for somebody to be jumping back on him? You, you feel me? Schofield has been 
moving right along where he hasn't really had to defend himself too much. I think if they put him in with Jojo Diaz, if Jojo Diaz is on his game, Jojo Diaz could beat him because he's been in there, you know, with the top, top guys. And Schofield really don't know what that's like just yet. Isn't Matias fighting lip and nets? He might be. Tim Zoo versus Boots 154 would be awesome. I would love that fight. I would love that fight. Gee, you a celeb. I need you to beat that nigga Paulie. Has bare knuckle. <laughs> I definitely would. Think about Jermaine Ortiz and Tank when he get out. That would be an interesting fight. I would love to see that. Name of price. I'm going to start a GoFundMe. <laughs> I see Haney dominating 140 division. It's possible. Okay, just for a second, let's forget about power. Who's the better boxer, Tank or Devin? Mmm. I, I think Devin got the edge on that. Kelvin Davis got a KO win tonight. Where he fight? Oh, yeah, he fought down Florida, right? OG Earn, what's up? Boxing Spence, Seabud, fight solo or with a group? I, I, I don't watch. I really don't like watching fights. I'm going to be real, bro. I went to go see Boots, right, this weekend. Last weekend just passed. I went to go see Boots or whatever. I really don't like watching big fights in crowds. I really don't like it. I like I like to watch it at home and where I can really pay attention. I think I still I think I still think to this day Sir Gallipinus gave Boots his best fight and still got killed. Yeah. Took a beating. What is your favorite combo to land when you are boxing? I oh, don't know. I like that. I like that uppercut, that hook in that right hand. I'm going to say that. That, that. Right uppercut, left hook, right hand. I like that all night. That's a beautiful combination. Shakur and Frank Martin about to take over 135. Interesting. Interesting. I want to see Shakur or uh, uh, Frank Martin in the ring with um, Pitbull Ortiz. I think when Tank and Devin fight, Haney may surprisingly be the aggressor. What you think? Tank and Devin, I don't know. Be the aggressor? Ah, I, I could see. You know what? I can see that because I can see that because Tank be just trying to figure these dudes out. He be playing playing possum for a little bit. So I can see that in the beginning. See, I'm trying to make you the good champion, nigga. Oh man. Do you think Andy Cruz will have a hard time transitioning into a pro style? I don't think so. From what I saw in the spar, he's very sharp, patient. He know how to place his shots. He know how to take his time. So I saw some good things from Andy Cruz, though. To see you knock out Jake Paul. I'll definitely fight Jake Paul. Shakur versus Lomo, who's winning? Shakur versus Lomo is a great fight. Um, I think that speed will bother Shakur, but I think Shakur's accuracy and timing will bother Lomo. That's a 50-50 fight in my eyes. I ain't going to lie. Subriel is always in the game fight. Yeah, he's a dog. Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder in December. Who wins? I don't think Anthony Joshua can handle that right hand, bro. I'm going to be so honest with you. I think Deontay Wilder will get him right out. If we're being all the way honest, Tank ain't never had to go in his bag. That's true. What you think about the Charlo versus Canelo fight? I actually like that fight. I actually think that's going to be a more entertaining fight than we think. You know what I mean? I don't think Canelo just going to have his way with uh, Jamel Charlo. going to be a great fight. Who do you think of Vidal Riley from the UK? I don't know about him too much. Send me, send me his name in the DM. I'm going to check him out for sure. Would you pick Virgil or Zoo at 154? Well, shit, right now I haven't seen Virgil at 54, but... I think Virgil would fill out well at 54, and I think he would definitely give Tim Zhu a hard time. But I have to be real, Tim Zhu is very disciplined, can punch, you know what I mean? Real good jab on him, keep his distance real good. I don't know, that'd be a great fight. Same, bro, I'm going to be dead nervous. I'm going to have Solo watching this fight. Real shit. What you think about Frank Martin, opponent, Jay? I ain't get to watch him too much yet. I'm going to watch him tonight, probably when I'm done here. What do you think about T.O.? Unretiring a month later. I don't think he retired in the first place. Break down Bum Garner fight this weekend, Jay. All right, so Bum Garner fighting that girl Christine. The girl Chris, Christina, I forgot her last name. She's tough. I've seen her in the gym up close and personal. She's very tough, strong, can punch. I actually did pad work with that girl before. She definitely can fight. She's very tough. I think Bum Garner has her hands full 
and she can't overlook her. She as long as she don't overlook her, I think she'll be okay. Shakur, Shakur versus Lomo will be fire. Yes, it will. What's Goody Jones two three? Yo, G, how you see a fight between Tia Fimo and Matias? Tia Fimo would have to box the shit out of Matias. He can't stand there and try to brawl with him. Matias will burn him up. Prime Floyd versus Prime Purnell, who wins? That's tough for me because I'm a Purnell fan. Floyd was a hell of a boxer, but Purnell was just super slick. I don't know. I think I would pick Purnell just because I'm a Purnell fan. I ain't going to lie. What you think of that Ryan Garcia and Derrick James training for this? Can you tell anything? From what I see, what um, Derrick James got him working on his distance, his reaction time, reaction time, his placement, um, you know, just just keeping it basic. So I do like that because one thing I noticed, he kept his hands up. You know what I mean? And he kept his feet moving. How long will Boots stay at forty-seven? I think Boots will stay at forty-seven to the end of next year. That's what I think. I could be wrong. If Benavidez is not the third fight, you believe Canelo Duck and Benavidez? I, then I would, yeah, I would want to say it. What you think about Tio Lopez coming out of retirement and fighting him? You think it's possible? Yeah, it's definitely possible, and that would be a great fight. I would love to see that. What you think about this fantasy fight, Trinidad and Boots? Ah, that would be a great one. Trinidad, most devastating puncher, I think, at 47. Boots probably... One of the sharpest I've seen at 47. Mm. That's a great fight. How? You know what, though? Tito, I don't think Tito will really hit boots, though. How long do you think it's going to take for Roley to lose his belt? Probably like one or two fights. Thoughts on Gary Antoine moving up to 47? Not yet. I wouldn't want to see him do that just yet. He really ain't fill out at 40. Why are all the top heavyweights taking like opponents? I don't know what's going on with that. Jamal was popping. If you think about Frank Martin, opponent. Y'all got watching. Do you see similarities with Jerron Anderson and Jerry Anderson's style other than the jab? Nah. And what you think of Jerry Anderson getting right back in the, in the next month? I think he need that. Haney versus Barboza. Who wins? Haney, bro, Haney's a hell of a boxer. Barboza, I got to do more research on. I like, I seen him fight before. I do like him. But I gotta do more to, to really size him up. Who wins better be of if better be of fights Bivol? That's a fight I wanna see. Better be of and Bivol. I feel like that's a 50-50 fight. It's tough to pick. You know what I mean? Bivol is dangerous. Better be of is dangerous. Come on. Do you think Camel Moulton's style would suit the pros better? I think so. Your puncher, he, he wanna jump on you. Pernell beats Floyd. George Benton was the best trainer, in my opinion. Tapping in from Louisville, Shakur versus Masons. Who's winning? They're not. I don't think Mason ready for Shakur yet. Who got more skill, Shakur or Boots? Ah. It's different, man. It's just different. It's different skill sets. I don't know. Shakur, I don't know. They both sharp. Boots just more electrifying. He going to bring more, you know what I mean, more action. Cotto versus Trinidad. That would have been a good one. I think Trinidad would have hurt him, though. Boots a fight. Standing on this for the belt. Ugas and Thurman is just a waste of time. Boost, waste of boost time. Tito was tall. Yeah. I used to think that Benavidez was the best fighter in the world. But after the video fight, I can see a lot of the things Benavidez does get countered off. And he pound for pound away. Who was more talented coming out of Philly? At the start of their career, Melgic Teller or Boots? Probably Melgic. Melgic for sure. Gotta remember, Melgic Teller was a 17 year old gold medalist. That's incredible. Tommy Morrison or Anthony Joshua? Ah, that's a tough one. I probably picked Tommy Morrison. I ain't gonna lie. Do you teach defense first as a coach, like Bozy, or is your approach different? My approach is very different. I take my time. People don't. A lot of people don't like how I train because I'm big on I'm big on basics. I'm big on fundamentals. So a lot of times people leave and shit like because I don't be having time to be playing. I need you to do what I need you to do. You know what I mean? So that you understand. But when you try to rush, don't come together. I mean, I got my core squad that been with me for a while, but it's just like 
a lot of people be thinking I'm gonna give them a lot of pad work and shit like that. I, I can't move like that. If I jump you straight to pads and shit like that, you'll never respect the gym. You know what I mean? What the gym is. Who do you think Keyshawn should fight next to go to the next level? I think Keyshawn should get a. Um, I think Keyshawn should fight Pitbull Cruz. That'd be a good one too. I could be a Bucci and Mike Tyson. Whoa. Somebody got to go. I could be a Bucci and Mike Tyson. I don't know. I ain't want nothing to play with, bro. Murderer. Mike Tyson. Murderer. I don't know, bro. Whoever get caught. Reading the school shit. What you think about Tyson Fury fighting Francois? Yeah, Francis. Yeah, I think that's a little weird. But at the same time, Tyson Fury trying to make some money, I guess. Anthony Yardy, Joe Smith Jr., who you got? I think Yardy are edgy. But Joe Smith ain't easy at all. Joe Smith is a gangster. Frank Martin versus Schofield. I think Frank Martin. Jared Anderson versus Dylan White. I think I think Dylan White will give him a great fight, but I think Jared Anderson the edgy. Remember Tito made 15 title defenses at Walter Wade. Yeah. Too late to start boxing at 18? No. Get in the gym. They should have made Canelo versus Boots because of those two. God, skill level. That would've been that would have been crazy. You agree with everyone saying Pitbull Cruz ain't do enough for the Tank rematch? I think he did. I don't agree with that. I I would like to see Tank and uh Pitbull Cruz again. Keyshawn and Michelle Rivera would be a good fight. Yeah. That would. It would. I think Keyshawn should fight Frank the Ghost Martin. That would be a great one. Bro, you was teaching boots that lead right. I seen you. He need more of that. When you see that. David Tua versus Mike Tyson. David Tua and Mike Tyson would have been a bang out. Whoever got caught. <laughs> I like Mario Barrios versus Boo Innocent. Mario Barrios? He had beat the shit out of Mario Barrios. What do you think about Bruce Shushu character? I like Shushu, man. Very sharp, very patient, very precise. You know what I mean? Good defense. Good inside game, good outside. I like, I like Shushu. I like what he do. Seems like Zapata doesn't get... The same shine as a lot of the fighters at 135, like Tank and Devin. How you see a fight between Frank Martin and Zapata going, mmm. Ah, ah. Zapata is tricky. He's tricky, though, to be honest. Because he can look basic, but then he can look very skilled at times. And then Frank Martin, I mean, Frank Martin just got a buzz right now. He got a crazy buzz. That would be a good fight. Frank Martin started boxing at 18. You think Pitbull can beat any of the top 135 guys? Like, I think, listen, I think Pitbull Cruz got a shot at anybody. Let me keep it real. How about David Tua and Tyson? Yeah, somebody just asked me that. Best Philly shell, Tony, George Benton, or Floyd. Come on, man. George Benton. Stop acting crazy. Frank Martin and Keyshawn, great fight. I think Keyshawn got a small edge on Frank Martin, though, to be honest. Think Charlo will fight Benavidez if he beats Canelo? Think Charlo. It's possible. Shit. If you if you already fought so-called the best at 168, why not fight Benavidez? Frank Martin versus Dela Santos would be electric. Yeah, Dela Santos, he definitely earning his keep. Hey Greg, what you think? Uh who who you think has the best jab currently in boxing? All weight classes. I mean, jabs, you got Tyson Fury. You got Tyson Fury and you got um, Jared Anderson at heavyweight. You got Dimitri Bivo at light heavyweight with a beautiful jab. You got Jamal Charlo at 68 with a beautiful jab. Also, Jesse Hart at 68 with a beautiful jab. 54 would be Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu, uh, Jamel. Uh, Tony Harrison even got a good jab. Um... You got Devin Haney, you got Boots in this, you got uh you got my man Earl Spence. I mean, you got some good jabs out there. Some good jabs. Thoughts on the younger Dula Mason. I like Abdullah Mason. I talked about him earlier in the live. I think he's gonna be a great fighter. He's very precise, very uh poised, very relaxed in the ring, very mature. I like especially for his age. I like what I see from the kid. Tio said Ryan Garcia. It's close to being done. Tio deserves it. Get his money. Tio got to stop bullshitting around. Abdullah Mason Schofield, that'd be a good fight. 
Not gonna lie, Frank fighting Keyshawn is like going backwards. I feel like Frank should get Shakur fight before he gets Keyshawn. I don't think that's going backwards though. I think they like on the same level to me. I like Frank over Zapata. Ken Ryan is break me of his record. I mean, it's possible. What's more important, more important, belts or money? Kids can't eat belts. It was Benton stop at Yeah, for sure. Switching between Southpaw and Orthodox really a big, really that big of a deal, or is it overhyped? Two great fighters do it well. Yeah, I think it is overhyped. I think because a lot of guys be trying to switch and they're really not the same fighter from the opposite side. So mm, be careful. Edwin Dela Santos got a good thump, Jay. Yeah, he can punch. How about Andre Ward versus Benavidez? I think Andre Ward was too smart for Benavidez. Be honest. Got the best chin in boxing. Who got the best chin? Best best chin in boxing might be Romain Villa. I feel like Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence outcome going to bring out people with true colors. Seems like motherfuckers really picking sides. Shouldn't be no hesitation between fighters because they put it all on the line. Yeah. Salute. Appreciate you. So cool. You take page. You going crazy. These lives are so legit. I appreciate that, bro. What's up, Swift Red? Fentanyl public relations. What's pop, man? Gee, what you think about Tiger Johnson? I like Tiger Johnson, but he need to, I think he just need to move his head more, loosen up a little bit. He kind of like real serious in the ring. I want him to relax a little bit, have a little bit more fun. Was it like coaching a corner doing an intense fight? Do you stay calm or hype? I'm always hype, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm always, I'm, I'm on point, but I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm tweaking. Just seen you on IG talking to the white boy. Yeah, the boy Mark from New York. Best chin in boxing. No doubt it's Canelo. Man, I'm not bad at that. When I'm in Philly, we sparring and stopping. I'm stopping you. No, nah, you stop me. You might as well stop at the store. Get some paper towels because you're going to need them. Patch your shit up. We need Greg Hacker versus Jake Paul for sure. What's good, Greg? My dude, much love. New Orleans was popping. Hey, yo, Greg, did Boots really try Drunken Master style? I don't think it was the Drunken Master style. I think it was just, you know what I mean, him having fun. You know what I mean? He's having a good time. Canelo's a great chin. He ate. Yeah, that's true. You ever think you have given bad advice in the corner during the fight? Uh, I may have. I mean, I may have. I don't know. I don't think I have, but I may have. Shit, I usually be on it, baby. I don't, I don't fuck around that corner. I tell y'all right now, I don't fuck around. Danny has a hard chance. Do you think Spence and Crawford fight as far as styles and matchup? I don't see it in the well with a pressure fighter trying to attack and counter punch who can fight off the bat. Yeah, I think somebody I ain't gonna lie, I think somebody getting stopped. I, I I'm betting I'm betting on on uh Crawford, but I ain't gonna lie. Somebody that's gonna be a great fight. But then again, guess what? Might not. Villa had the best chance, Boost took that. War watch Benavidez boos hit the matrix on him. Del Santos needs him moving forward. Del Santos just got keep winning, man. Del Santos looking better every fight. I ain't gonna lie. He said, Gee, you tripping. Only way War can beat Benavidez is running in the ring. He wasn't never too good at that. Never seen War with somebody who hit a seven piece. Counter right at the rule. Yeah, but see, the thing is, Benavidez, in order for him to hit you with the seven piece, he, you got to be standing there to eat the seven piece. Boxing been winning this year as a fan. You got to love it. Real shit. Who you got the weakest chin in boxing? Oh, man, I don't know. It was my Americana at one time. What is the red flags from a boxing coach if you're a fighter? The red flags from a boxing coach. Uh, I don't know. Everybody red flags different. I mean, but you you definitely want somebody that's going to try to teach you something. What's your pound for pound? I don't have a pound for pound. I don't really. Who's your pound for pound number one right now? I don't really have a pound for pound. I ain't going to lie. Anyone know who has the longer reach between Crawford and Spence? I think it might be Crawford. And what round CBS wins? If he stopped anyway, it would be like the 10th. I'm going to get with my, when I'm in the city, we're going to get these rounds in. It's up to you, bro. Either White or Joshua. Who you got on T.O. versus Haney? I think Haney's too smart, too sharp. So, Andrew Tabidi, I thought he was the real, was the one. 
No, Tabidi to me, Tabidi was Tabidi got the size to do it, but I think Tabidi fight too much like a welterweight. You know, school to take it on the monster in Japan. Do you think the difference will be a difference? No, I think Scooter, he loving the fact that he going over there, bro. I think he going to go over there and show his ass. First time meeting Boots. For me, I met Boots when Boots was like a baby. You got to remember his dad. All right, so look, I'm I'm 36. His dad been having him in the gym since he was a pup. So he put Boots probably was like a baby. First time I seen Boots. That's some bro. She probably was like three. I don't think Floyd may really do in his era against the guys at 135 and 147. I think Floyd is a great. Floyd is a master boxer. Can you break down your philosophy of cutting weight and rehydrating? I think, I think for one, uh, you shouldn't get too big after you know after fights. I, in between fights, I I don't like for guys to get 30 pounds, 40 pounds over their fight weight. I think all that getting too big shit is crazy. Uh, I think you should get no more than 20, no more than 20 pounds over your fight weight. Um, no more than 20, 25 pounds because you can have you can start having problems. Um, rehydrating, I mean, it's got to do it smart. You got to know your body and you got to have a team and know your body. You know what I mean? But I don't like guys getting too big, exactly. And Ward was never too good at that. He moved and sit and then like to punch a lot and duck and for horrible. I mean, maybe you just don't like Andre Ward. Hope they don't cheat Fulton. Right. Me neither. In my opinion, Fulton fought better out of the opposition in any way. Me too. I feel 140 pounds deep in division. What you think? Yeah, 140 popping. I ain't gonna lie. 140 popping in the low. But they not acting crazy enough. They need to act crazy and bring more attention to that. Haney wanted that extension for a reason. My opinion got T.O. by K.O. if they fight next. Not bad. Keyshawn versus Floyd. Nah, Floyd too much. Coach G. Cool boy putting dude out. If I if I had Cool Boy stopping anyway, I think it'd be the tenth round. How does Spence being in the welterweight division this long affects it? I mean, Spence could be outgrowing the the division, but at the same time, I see he got a nutritionist, so that may that may have been the thing for a long time. His you know his food intake, and maybe he's doing a lot better at that. So I don't know. How do you feel about Ben Whitaker? I like Ben Whitaker. He's from the UK, right? Best live on YouTube. Appreciate that, bro. Benavidez was getting outboxed in the first half by a plant. Please don't disrespect Ward by saying Ben. Yeah, I. that's why I just summed it up that he really just don't like Andre Ward. Andre Ward is a master boxer, bro. I was telling my homie what if Boots moved down to 140 and fight Haney and moves up. He was 145 last week and Boots would take 25%. I think that'd be crazy. Walk around 165. What would be the best weight to fight in the amateurs? I think if you if you walk around at 165 and you got the weight to lose, I think you fight at 156. You don't want to get too small. Say that for the pros. You think Keyshawn Davis and Floyd Schofield fight happens? That would be a great fight, but I don't think it happens. Keyshawn versus Cambosis. I think Keyshawn would crack him. Yeah, he would give him. He would give him what he's looking for. You think <clears throat> you think Winky Wright could have gave Floyd his first loss in 05? It's possible. Winky was, was had a very tough defense to get through. And he had a great one two shot down the middle. I don't know. It's been a great fight. And he got the best chin in boxing. Get the likes up. Appreciate y'all. Keyshawn too strong. For Loma, you think anyway would beat Figueroa? Nah. Figueroa too, too active, based upon how well Lomachenko did in the second half of the Haney fight. How do you think the, that version of Lomachenko would have done against Shakur? Mmm. This one. See, Shakur is different, man. Shakur got a way of slowing you down without you trying to slow down. You know what I mean? He know how to pace himself. He know the ring. I'm not saying Devin don't know the ring, but Devin more of a, you know, let's get it type of guy. Like, let's. You know what I mean, let's get this tempo real high. Let's keep it high. And, you know what I mean, let me get my shit off. So, I don't know, man. That would have been, I don't know. It would have been great to watch, though. No, I like what I just think Benavidez has got too much for him. I mean, it could be true, but I don't think so. Thurman versus Ugas. 
Frank Martin versus Isaac Cruz. Thurman and Ugas, listen, it'll be an action-packed fight. It's a lot on the line. I think Ugas, if Ugas don't get tired the second half, Ugas could pull it off. But if Thurman able to control him with the jab and with his footwork in and out on his feet, Thurman could take it. That's a great fight, ladies and gentlemen. Are the judges in Fulton from Japan or where? I don't know. I ain't checked for that yet. We, I probably won't find out to that day. You know what I mean? Where the judges going to be from. Montana Love and Richardson about to be in the spectacle fight of the year. Just, no, they not fighting. Frank Martin versus Cambosis is a banger. True. Devin versus T.O. Who you got and why? I think T.O. just too slick. I mean, I think Devin too slick for T.O. That's my that's my honest opinion. I think T.O. is a great boxer, though. He got some shit with him. But I just think Devin making a hard night for him. Spence definitely moving up after this fight. He was supposed to be up there two years ago. Do you think that Shakur was wrong for not taking 25% and fighting Haiti? Or is he right because he don't play boxing and you should be paid what you feel you're worth? I, in Shakur's case, that's, that's tough because Shakur does have a name and Shakur is a great fighter, but he don't have any real estate at 135. So it's, it's, it's kind of tough to make that argument, but I understand because we don't know what the 25% percentile was of. Like, we don't know if 25% of what. Like, you know what I'm saying? OG, in a perfect world, what weight class with yourself? With yourself and what era of boxing? Well, I turned pro in 2008, so I would have been at, I should have been at 140 pounds. 140 pounds in 2008, so I don't know. Y'all do the math. I would have, I mean, if everything would have went right, <laughs> I'll be undisputed right now, probably at 47. <laughs> You know what I mean? I would have liked to grab some titles at 40 and then be champ at 40, 47. So I don't know. Who do you want to see Boots in the ring in the future top five fight for him? I want to see Boots and Jamel Charlo. I want to see Boots and Tim Zhu. I want to see Boots and um, Boots and uh, um, um, Erickson Lubin, guys like that. Yo, Mr. Gary Hagen, how do you see punches coming and dodging? Well, it starts off with distance. You got to keep the distance. You know what I mean? And you got to watch a guy's body. You don't watch a guy's face. He can't hit you with his face. You got to watch his body, watch his shoulders, watch his hips. You know what I mean? That's how you pick up on where the shot coming from. What's next with Shakur and Devin and Lomo? I don't know. I think Shakur should get uh, Jermaine Ortiz. Isn't scared of anybody. No, Cambosis ain't scared of nobody. Shakur versus Lomo would be a great fight. I would love to see that one too. What would you say is the toughest weight class to fight in, at in boxing? Probably right now, probably like 140, 135, 140, 147. I don't know. It's tough. Yeah, Caleb is a super athlete for the first few rounds, which is, isn't something War has. Ain't got a good fully coach for his fight. Benavita, on top of all that, Caleb was able to clinch to a crazy, crazy what? Ugas shall retire. Crazy amount. Mm. Thurman beats Ugas. Gee, I don't know. I think just bias on any way. He legit, bro. Yeah, but uh, it's it's hard to stress, bro. It's hard, it's hard trying to stress it. Y'all think I'm being like that because the kids from Philly and I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, cool boy is different, bro. He a different animal, bro. He don't, he just got like, he got like this thing about him, bro. You just gotta, you gotta, you gotta see him in the gym. I know y'all basing him on the fights, but he's winning these fights. And anyway, it's coming up and wait. I mean, we just not gonna see it till July 25th. I mean, we got a couple weeks, so we, let's just get ready, ladies and gentlemen. I can't, I can't keep trying to stress it. You know what I mean? We gonna see, and, and after the fight, I'll be totally honest on what happens. Win, lose, or draw. Yeah, I think he be he forgetting that too. That Andre Ward beat Prime Kovalov. Canelo get got the best chin in boxing, in my opinion. Anyone under heavyweight, in my opinion, can't can't knock out Canelo. If you look how Caleb was doing.
push six one of us been VS. I doubt he could beat Ward. Hit the like button, y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. We got 185 people here, 59 likes, man. Let's try to even things out, ladies and gentlemen. Did you see Keyshawn last fight when Big Jared was on the card? Keyshawn need his opponent in the face. Swole up the guy's jaw and eye from that knee. But the ref and the commentators didn't mention it. Mmm, I gotta see that. And Caleb still got beat half the death. What you think about betting on Cool Boy to win? I like Cool Boy to win. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I think he really gonna pull that shit off. Uh, people looking at it like, oh, anyway, he could punch and he got, you know, he got everything on his side. Yeah, but that, that might be the very, that might be the very thing that gets his ass kicked. People tend to forget that Canelo started out a much lower weight division. Charlo is a naturally bigger guy who's able to make weight at 154. It won't be easy, but I see Charlo beating Canelo. That's a great fight. Could you still get down to 140? I don't think so. How do boxers deal with the pain of getting hit? They won't think about it. What happened to your career, Big J? I mean, I never had a manager, never had a promoter. You know what I mean? I just I just always loved boxing. I knew it was something I could do, but I never, you know what I mean? I just didn't take it serious like I was supposed to. I didn't discipline myself. I didn't have great discipline as a young man. Just thought that was so odd that nobody mentioned that nowhere. I was like, wow, they not going to say nothing to Keyshawn about that. Damn, I'm going to go back and look at that fight. I don't remember him kneeing him. Teal was running his trap on Twitter. Yeah, he wants to fight Devin now. He said he don't want to give Devin Haney the easy route to his belt if he retired. Oh. And do you prefer coaching or fighting? I like both, man. But coaching, I take more serious. I'm more serious about coaching. But fighting, I'm, you know what I mean? Fighting, I'm just, I love to rumble. I just fight anybody, anywhere, anytime. But that's not good for a fighter, you know what I mean? You got to be in great shape. Who you got, Emma Williams or Lorenzo Simpson? That's a rumble. I need to see that. I ain't going to lie. I like Lorenzo Simpson, but I might. I don't know, man. That's a 50-50. Ah, Ammo -fifty. tough, though. He dangerous. Boots and Tim Zoo would be a nice fight. Hell yeah. Shakur versus Edwin Del Santos. That would be a good one. Andy look ready. Yeah, I like Andy. I feel like Jermaine Ortiz would push Shakur for sure. Kendrell was popping. Whoa will be the side effect in Spence versus Crawford. I think the Spence versus Crawford, whoever makes whoever makes the uh whoever makes the wrong decision and pays for it, I think, loses the fight. They just can't make no mistakes. They gotta be perfect that night. What would you have called your style when you did fight? Who would you be comparison? Uh ah. I can do it all, baby. I can box you. I can get inside with you. I don't know. I guess, like, I'm trying to think of somebody in my size that I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know, because I'm slippery, too. I don't know. The best gym in Philly, there is none. They all great gyms. Cool boy is a dog. All right, G, I'm going to test your boxing history. All right, kid, what's the best 154-pounder? Tommy Hearns, Mike McCullum. Mike McCullum, different boy, though. Mike McCullum was a different type of dude. Tommy Hearns was clipping shit, but I don't know. Mike McCullum's skill set is crazy. And he went to war with a lot of dogs, a lot. Canelo got the best drugs in boxing, not Chen. He's got a point. No, Whitaker versus Tink Davis. Come on, man. Sweet pea. Fulton probably walks around at about 150 plus. Anyway, don't walk around no bigger than 140. There are weight classes for a reason. Get the likes up, they say. Bum Gardner has got her hands full. This is going to be a great fight. It's going to be a rumble, and, and I believe it's a rematch. Tink versus Edwin Dallas Santos. I think Tink a clipping. Canelo was 17 when he was at 1-4. That don't count. Him and Mel both got big frames. Yo, G, what up? What's the deal? What's popping? Man, cool boy don't walk around 150 plus. He died making 122. Mm. I'm going to say this. Cool boy be... 
I'm going to say Cool Boy Walker around at 145. Gee, do you see any glimpses of any brothels with any of your traits? Ah, any of my traits. I'm going to say this. That composure... That composure I got, I, I'm very, all right, I'm going to say this. I'm composed like Shakur is. Like, Shakur is real calm in there and see shit. That's me. I ain't, like, real, uh, like, oh, shit. I'm in there, like, okay. All right, I see that. Oh, that's what you brought? That's what you bring to the table? James Tony was my guy. Salute, y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. appreciate everybody that's in the joint. We got the likes up to 79. I fucks with y'all for that. Yo, G, who's your favorite prospect slash contenders? I like, I was just talking about him today. I like uh, Diego Pacheco, 168-pounder. He's a beast. I like that kid. I like, um, I don't know. I like Frank Martin. He's sharp. I like Keyshawn. It's a lot of little guys I like. I like. I even like Tim Zhu. I like what he do. I think Crawford going to be targeting his expensive body. Spence gonna be the one trying to box. It's gonna man, listen, it's gonna be a great fight. Hagler versus Monzo and Roy versus Ray Robinson. Roy and Ray Robinson would have been sick. Monzo and Hagler would have been sick. Monzo was oh man, that would have been crazy. Monzo and Hagler? Shit, I don't know. Yo, Greg, you seen you seen T.O. just call out Devin, what you think? I think that'll be a great fight. I think they need to go ahead and fight. That'll be a good money fight, especially the way uh, T.O. just looked his last fight. Tim Chris McCullough, one of the two finest skills I've ever seen between two fighters. Yeah, they was getting that shit on. Want the smoke, no headgear, 10, 10 rounds. Andrew Ellis, you sure? Make sure you sign a waiver. We should do call-ins for the debates. Yeah, I would have to, how, how the fuck would I set that up, though? We should look kind of nervous at the face-off. Not going to lie. Hey, man, she got to, they said she lost to her before, so she got to go ahead and step up to the plate. Do you want to see Boots versus Gary Antoine in the future? Them shit. I think Gary Antoine just always going to be too small for Boots. I would love to see it, though, but I don't think, I don't, it ain't worth it right now. Who the one, Larry Holmes or Foreman? I think George Foreman. Appreciate y'all, man. Do you think Bud takes fight to Earl? Do you think Earl? I think they're going to rumble. I think it's just going to be a rumble. Glenn Roy. R. Tony. Glenn R. Tony. Versus McCullough one and two. The most underrated fights. Yeah. You see the new boxing game coming out. It's called Undisputed. You should check it out. Is it a good one? McCullough was... Best body puncher in the book. One of my favorite boxers. Vicious. A. Hey, where do you top rank find them? These regular civilians, they be feeding. Yo, top rank, crazy, bro. They be pulling them out, don't they? What you think about Xander Zayas? I think they moving Xander Zayas very well. But I think he, you know, he just need a test. It's time to throw a test in there with him. What's your thoughts on Hitchison and Bam Rodriguez, Coach J? I think Richard Hitchison is very sharp. He came to Philly about a month ago and got some sparring. He looked very good. Ben Rodriguez can fight, but he got to move his head a lot more. He get hit with crazy shots. I haven't caught a lot of him in the gust. What's popping? Free Smoke Jr. Put them hands on Bud, though. We're going to see. Yo, G was popping, checking in from Charleston, South Carolina. Do you think Spence Ring Rust will play a part. I think it'll play a small part. I think because it's Spence style is a confrontational style, he bring the fight to you. So with him fighting like that, I, th I think he'll warm up pretty quick. Canelo ducking all the best fighters at 168. He defended his belts against a true 168 pounder. For a boxer starting out, would you say focus more on technique or conditioning? Technique. Conditioning as well, but technique. Technique for sure. You get sharp working on your technique. Street fights versus the ring. Uh, I like I like the ring. It's more fun. The streets make me mad. Like fighting in the street make me mad. I don't like being mad like that because I'd be mad for like two days. I don't like being like that. Describe your strength and weaknesses when you box. My strengths was my my eyes, my skill set, my uh, my heart. My weakness was my my discipline outside the gym. Very undisciplined. 
like button for Cool G. I was out here, y'all gotta understand, I was out here rock star, man. I ain't had no guidance as a kid. I ain't never had my dad on top of me telling me what to do. My mom got sick when I was young, so I was out here just doing what I wanted, man. You know what I mean? To me, the guy wrestled Jr. could treat every boxer. Why is he not fighting anyone? I really don't know, man. Gary Russell is a better man. I really don't know, though. I don't know what's going on. Do you think Frank Martin is ready for Shakur? I don't I don't think Frank Martin ready for Shakur just yet. I think he need one or two fights. Matias versus Lipinets about the fight. Who you got? Matias a mean dude, man. I ain't, it's hard to bet against him. I ain't going to lie. What about Tiger Johnson? I like Tiger Johnson. I think Tiger Johnson just needs to work more on his rhythm. You know what I mean? Having fun in the ring. He be he be going for that knockout kind of early. I think he needs to work on setting up his knockouts. Hey, Greg, you heard the GG is having a comeback fight against John Ryder. You think Ryder can pull it off or does the old man still hit like a bag of rocks? I mean, either way, because John Ryder just got the ring with Canelo. And he, he learned a lot in that fight, and he did go the distance. You know what I mean? So he tough enough. And Triple G, you know, I think he's just getting old. I'm going old school again. Aaron Pryor, Sugar Ray Leonard. Oh, man. Aaron, hey, listen. Sugar Ray Leonard ain't want no trouble with Aaron Pryor, and it was for a reason. So, got to go Aaron Pryor, brother Greg. What's good? You think Spence and Crawford showing each other respect will hurt the mainstream market? Nah, I think this fight is already in stone, and we all just going to be ready to check in because that's going to be a great fight. Greg, right, if you had four current fighters to show casual fan, who would it be? Um, current, I would say current would be Shakur, Dimitri Bivol, Tyson Fury, and Jamel Charlo. Shakur, Dimitri Bivol, Tyson Fury, and Jamel Charlo. Those would be the four I picked to watch. Where does a win over Earl rank Bud all time in your pan? Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know, man. The game getting crazy. Dola Mason and Shushu seem to be serious young problems. What you think, Coach J? Yeah, I think Abdullah Mason is very mature for his age, and he's looking to get the job done. Shushu is a master boxer. He's, I feel like he's becoming a master boxer. He's really letting his hands go. Good defense. He's showing me a lot. Matias Loki, the boogeyman at 140. Don't nobody say his name. That's true. What prospect of yours are you most excited about? It's always going to be right now, Dunk Noble. Jabril don't know who. Where do you think Berlanga ranks at 168? I think Berlanga just need to stop focusing on the power. I think if Berlanga focused more on skills, Berlanga will be more exciting. Setting up his punches. Would you happen to know where to find more amateur footage on pro fighters who are active now? I don't know. Shit, you would have to just type it in YouTube, I guess. Peak Zab and Peak Thurman. Zab. Zab. Zab is a killer. Let's see what my J keep doing. Lil Haiti was popping. Y'all already know. Gee, I know you're going to be in Vegas July 29th. I wish I could. Danny Garcia said back in the day, Bozy Jim had the hardest spar. For sure. All the dogs was out there. If Leah, not too. Pulls the upset. Will that. Ooh, what would that do to Alicia Baumgartner's career? I mean, it definitely put a halt to her career. She's definitely been doing a great job. I think that, you know, mm -hmm. she would definitely work her way back, though. She a tough broad. Rolly coach or tank coach? I got to go with my old Calvin, man. I like Calvin. I don't know too much about Butler. I heard he used to fight, though. Spencer Crawford do more pay per view buys and Tank Garcia. It might. It's a big fight. Are you going to check out Ashton Silva on the Jake Paul and Nate Diaz on the car? Yeah, I'll check him out. I like that kid. I like that kid, but I just think they, I, I don't know. They ain't really got him fighting nobody just yet. What you think of Miguel Cotto? Miguel Cotto is one of my favorites. 
Back in the day when I used to watch him on Friday Night Fights, I love how he went to the body. Shane Mosley at 35 and Tank at 35, somebody getting clipped. Somebody's getting clipped. I got to agree with Blue Blood on this on this live today. He said I could listen to Greg Haggard talk boxing and broke down fight and break down fights all day. Damn. I appreciate that, Blue Blood. Appreciate you too, my guy. Midwest, I appreciate that. Have you ever seen a better fighter than the Prime Roy? Yikes. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Nobody talking about Kermel. Y'all tripping, tripping. Kermel a kid, bro. Let Kermel do what he doing. Kermel a young boy. We Actually, we was talking about Kermel earlier. What was your favorite combo to throw? I told y'all that uppercut hook right in. That right uppercut, left hook right in. That's my shit. Do you see Haney, Tank fighting? I think they will fight at 140. I think Anthony Domestic Thompson would have been dope. Pro if he did damage his eye. Anthony, listen. Anthony the Messenger Thompson was one of my favorite fighters coming up as a kid. And he was a very hard worker and a very skilled fighter. I watched him in the gym a lot of days, man. Great fighter. Anthony the Messenger. Yeah, he had a detached retina. That was crazy. Great fighter, though, bro. Great fighter. <clears throat> Tank the best fighter from 140 down. If he had more weight and reach... More height and reach, he would crack Spence or Crawford as well. I mean, could be true. Peak Pacquiao, peak Zab. Wow. I don't know. Zab might fuck him up too. <laughs> Boots versus Prime Thurman. I think Boots is just too much for Thurman. He's got too much. To See, Boots. All right, listen. The reason, the reason I picked Boots in a lot of fights Boots is not the kind of guy you're going to have an easy night against. Even if you beat Boots, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. That's 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 what it is with Boots. Boots going to make it a rough night. Was Jamal Charles drunk in his last interview? I don't know, Jamal Charles. I don't know. I got to see that joint. Everybody talking about it. Who should Tank fight? I don't know. I think Tank going to get that uh, Isaac Cruz rematch. 54 in one, two years. Versus Roy. Not gonna lie, yeah, great job. Money made for Sweet Pea. Who you picking? I told y'all, Sweet Pea, man. Boots versus Paul Williams. Wow. Wow. I don't know. Thurman's overrated. I don't think Thurman overrated. I just think he just, he just not appealing. I got Boots over Thurman. Paul Williams is one of the best. Yeah. I watched that slow mo Boots clip like a million times. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Nightcrawler in the versus Stanley Owens is murder. Yeah, that's a great fight. Hey, listen, y'all. I'm ready to get up out of here. Got an early morning. I appreciate y'all. Been on this joint for 58 minutes. Thanks for coming to fuck with me. I'm going to try to get on this joint earlier tomorrow. I mean, see what I could do. It's, I'm freezing right now. The air on. I mean, I got to get in the shower. I mean, scrub a dub and all that. Get ready for bed, man. I appreciate y'all. I really do, man. For those who show all the love, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just returning all the love. I appreciate y'all, man. For those who want to show more love, I left my cash app in the descriptions. You know what I mean? Get me closer to that AMG. You feel me? So I can ride around like a player. <laughs> no, but I fucks with y'all, man. Thank y'all, man. I'm, I was hanging by a thread, but I'm here. You feel me? I appreciate y'all, man. Thank you for jumping on for sure. We're going to get it in. And remember, man, if y'all see me in the street, man, say what's up. Don't be weird, man. Don't just be looking at me acting crazy. I'm a real person. I like to speak to people, man. We can talk boxing as long as I got time. You know what I mean? And if I got any questions for y'all, I will ask them, motherfucker. You know what I mean? I appreciate y'all again. Thank you, man. Thanks for fucking with me. You know what I mean? Thanks for the likes, the shares, the subscriptions, and all that other good shit. Get with me, man. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. I mean, I'll be back on it. I might, I might jump on here early in the morning. We're going to see what happens. You know what I mean, let me know what y'all mornings be looking like. You know what I mean? We can jump on bonus, John. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, man. Get with me.